Hello, my dear student in Biomedical Six. Today, we will revise our important points to be ready for our term exam. The first point is the definition of the ratio. The ratio is comparing between two quantity of the same kind. The weight. The weight is ratio between two quantity of different kinds. Proportion is equality between two or more ratios. Drawing scale is the ratio between drawing length and real length, or the ratio between drawing length and real length. If the drawing scale more than one, this expresses enlargement. But if the drawing scale less than one, this expresses minimization. These two points repeating in complete and choose in move exams. Okay, and it's a very important point. If the drawing scale more than one, this expresses enlargement or magnification. And if the drawing scale Less than one, this expresses minimization or reduction. Because if the drawing scale more than one, this meaning that drawing length is more than real length. And if the drawing scale is less than one, this meaning that drawing length is less than real length. The range is the difference between the greatest value and the smallest one. If you have some values and you want to find the range of these values, you can calculate it by uh, greatest value minus the smallest value. The length of the set is the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit of this set. If you have a set 10 and 20 and want to find the length of this set, you can calculate it by 20 minus 10, the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. The number of sets is the quotient of dividing the range by the length. Then, if you have the range of some values and the length of this set, if you divide the range by the length, you can find the number of sets. Then number of sets is the quotient. Then number of sets calculating by divide. And the length calculating by dividing the range by the number of sets. The only one who can calculate by multiplying is the range. The rules of cuboid. If you want to find the volume of cuboid, you can find the volume by length multiply width multiply height. Another rule, you can find the volume by base area multiply L height. If you want to find the height, you can do volume divided base area. If you want to find the base area, you can do volume divided the height. The rules of Q. The volume of Q can be calculated by multiplying the side by itself by itself, S by S by S, or H by H by H. The two is correct. If you find in the question the perimeter, you will do side equal perimeter divided 4 at first, then you can find the volume by multiplying side by itself by itself. But if you find in the question the sum of lenses of all edges, then you will find at first the side by dividing this sum by 12. Then calculate the volume by multiplying side by itself by itself. 
If you find in the question the area of one face, then you can find the side by calculating the square root of the area by calculator. Then find the volume by multiplying side by itself by itself. If you find sum of areas of all faces or total area, then you can find at the first area of one face by dividing this total area by 6. Then find the side by calculating the square root of this area. Then find the volume by multiplying side by itself by itself. If one of the angles of the rhombus is right, then it's called squared. This is very important point. If one of the angles of rhombus is right, then it's called is squared. If one of the angles of the parallelogram is right, then it's called rectangle. The parallelogram whose diagonals are equal in length and not perpendicular is called yeah, rectangle. But the parallelogram whose diagonals are perpendicular and equal in length is called square excellent. But the parallelogram whose sides are equal in length is rhombus. Yeah. If the parallelogram whose sides are equal in length, then it's called rhombus. The ratio between the side length of square and its perimeter is 1 to 4. It's a very important point. Okay, the ratio between the side length of equilateral triangle and its perimeter is 1 to 3. But he, if he asked you to find the ratio between the perimeter of equilateral triangle and its side length, it will be 3 to 1. If he asked you to find the ratio between the perimeter of a square and its side length, it will be 4 to 1. The rhombus is the same as the square. If he asked you to find the ratio between the side length of rhombus and its perimeter, it will be 1 to 4. And the ratio between the perimeter of rhombus to its side length, it will be 4 to 1. The ratio between the diameter of circle and its circumference is 1 to pi because the diameter is 2r and circumference is 2 pi r simplify by dividing by 2r it will be 1 to pi and the ratio between the radius length of circle and its circumference it will be 1 to 2 pi Remember that the quantitative data are length, tallness, width, phone number, birth date, and age. The descriptive data are address, favorite color, favorite food, favorite hobby, and birth place. Be careful and notice the difference between birth date and birth place. Birth place is descriptive data, but birth date is quantitative data. If he asked you to find number of bottles and number of cubes or number of ingots, number of alloys, then you will do V1 divided V2 or C1 divided C2. Then you will divide the volume of the first shape by the volume of the second shape 
of the void, the capacity of the first sheep by the capacity of the second sheep. If he asked you to find the price, then you will do capacity multiply price of one liter. For example, if he asked you to find the total price of uh, juice, if uh, the juice uh, put in vessel in the shape of cube with side length 4 and the price of 1 liter is 1.5 pound, then you will find the capacity of the cube side by side by side, 4 by 4 by 4 equals 64 centimeter cube. Convert it to liter by dividing by 1000, it will be 0 0.064. Then multiply it by 1.5. Okay. If 2, 3, 8, and x are proportional, then x equals 3 multiply 8 divided 2 equals 12. You will find you will put 2 over 3 equals 8 over x. Then by cross multiplication, x will be. 8 multiplied 3 divided 2, it will be equal to 12. Remember that the ratio of discount is before discount and discount and after discount. The percentage of before discount is always 100 and the discount as uh, he give you in the question. After discount you will do minus, okay. Uh, if you find uh, in the question uh, profit, then the ratio will be total cost and profit and selling price. The total cost always 100%. And the profit then you will do plus to find the percentage of uh, selling price. If you find in the question uh, interest, then the ratio will be before interest, the interest and after interest before interest always 100% and you will do plus to find the percentage of after interest. Okay. Remember your uh, lessons uh, well and don't forget the convert between the units. If you want to convert between uh, meter cube to decimeter cube or from meter cube to liter, you will multiply by 1000 and from liter to milliliter or from decimeter cube to centimeter cube, you will multiply by 1000 and from centimeter cube to millimeter cube, you will multiply by 1000. Okay, with my best wishes.